Hey guys, Megan of Rhapsody in Rooms here today with my eighth Stix Fits review. So I want to take you through everything that I got in my box and show it to you on and whether I like it or not. So the first item that I'm going to talk to you about today is the polka dot sweater that I'm wearing that's called 41 Hawthorne Gideon Polka Dot Sweater. And there's a reason I started with this one because I really love it. It's fall and currently it's cold and rainy outside and all I want to do is snuggle up with a warm and cozy sweater. And this definitely fits the bill. I love everything about it. It's really soft, so I know I'll put it on in those cold mornings when I roll out of bed, but I don't really want to. It fits really well. It has long sleeves that are really nice for someone with long arms who's tall. It's long in length too, and looks good from all angles. So this one I think is definitely a keeper because I am just loving it. It's perfect for fall, so highly recommend this one. Okay, my next piece that I'm wearing is the Bricks on Ivy Donna and Bellis neckline blouse. And this blouse is gorgeous in my opinion. I love the color. I love this embellishment right here on the neckline. It's so pretty with the dark navy. And the fit is fantastic. And I'm going to tell you why the fit is fantastic. That makes the shirt not fantastic. So it gives me a great hourglass figure shape right here, just nipped in at the waist. And that's because on the back, it has this elastic part right here that makes it tight around the, your waist, which is great, but look at how it poofs out. It's not great, and it always poofs out. I can't do any tugging or anything that will make it lay flat. So that really makes me not want to keep the shirt because I'd always have to wear a jacket over top of it because this just looks really funny, and I just, I just can't do it for this blouse, but I love it because it does make it fit really well across the waist. And I love the bling. I always love the bling. So it's beautiful and it looks great from the front, but the back, not so much. And the shirt needs to look good in the front and the back. So unfortunately, this one's going back. Okay, my next item is the Fete Dalvik Printed Moto Jacket. So I definitely asked for another jacket because it is fall. I don't really have a great selection of fall jackets. And I liked the last one that was Moto with a little edge. So I asked for something similar, but a little different, obviously. And I got this one. At first, I was really excited. I love an asymmetrical zipper. I think that's really neat. And it has a nice pattern, but it is simple enough that it can go with a lot of things. Um, it is also very stretchy, which I really enjoy a stretchy jacket. If it's not comfortable, I'm not going to wear it. And this one's definitely comfortable, but I do think it is a little small. It is a size small, and I do know that sometimes you have to go up on their jacket sizes. And I said I would like a medium if it wasn't very stretchy, because I have a small um, jean jacket that works great. And this one is really stretchy, so it's probably why Lauren gave me a small. And if I were going to keep it, I'd probably contact customer service and ask if I could get a medium. But I'm leaning towards not keeping it. It is a little cropped for my taste, and you can see, especially with this shirt, it makes me look very short-waisted. Um, you can see in the back how it definitely is a little tight around here and the shoulders too, although it does have a good give, but it kind of hits at the wrong place. I don't love empathi empathi emphasizing. <laughs> um, so I've been kind of going back and forth on this one and I think I'd like it a lot more if it were a medium, but I do think I'm going to pass on this one because if I'm going to get a staple fall jacket, I want to be one that I'm completely sold on and love. Um, but these have a lot of the right elements and we're getting really close, but it's just not there yet. All right, my next piece is the Renee C. Marcy skirt and I love pencil skirts these days. So I asked for a great fall um, pencil skirt or for a great fall dress and they sent me this skirt and I was really excited when I first saw the pattern. I think it's really cute and fun and I like having patterned skirts. I think you can do a lot with them, especially in the fall. Unfortunately, this one, it came in a medium. Um, and it is really tight. I think this is supposed to run tight anyways, but I feel like I cannot even walk in this very much. And I feel like, especially for work, it just gives a great silhouette, but it's not very work friendly. And I'm most likely going to wear a pencil skirt to work. If I did want to keep it, I probably would contact customer service and ask for a large, um, but I'm just not feeling it a hundred percent. It just, I don't know, it's just so stretchy. It kind of feels like one of those skirts you wear in high school, the material. So I'm not loving that. I like my pencil skirts, pretty structured and professional looking, um, but fun patterns and colors that play them up. So I like it, but it's definitely a no-go, but it is fun to try and it has a good shape, but not this time. Definitely, definitely fun though to try. 
My final piece today is the Pixley Lenta Cutout Detail Blouse. And this blouse, I have to tell you, grows on me every time I put it on. So I think the first thing we all have to agree upon is this color is awesome. Love this color. And I love all the details we have on the cutout. I mean, it really makes it a very interesting blouse. So here's what makes it even more interesting. So this is a two-piecer, and it's open on the side. So here we go. It just comes together like this up at the armpits, and then it comes with this cami underneath that matches, so it's very seamless. But so yeah, I just keep expecting if I go outside, what would happen if I got caught in the wind and all of a sudden my blouse is flying up to my head, um, and or I feel like I'd play with it a lot like this, which could get awkward. But I don't know, it is kind of fun. It's kind of this intriguing piece to me, which is why I love Stitch Fix. So this is something I would never have tried on the store. Just super blousey, open like this, no way. Um, but it is really fun. I don't know though, I think the thing that's holding me back is, you know, I keep thinking about the windstorm, which is odd because most of the time I'm inside. Um, but it is, you know, flattering underneath, but this makes it look very blousey on the profile. So, I don't know, I think I'm probably going to be sending this back, but I'm really glad that my stylist sent it to me. I'm having a lot of fun just trying it on around the house, and I paired it with some fall booties too to see how it could mix into fall, um, and I'm really digging it that way. So, this is my final piece and a really fun one to end off on. So, you ha I hope you liked my Ace Stitch Fix review and you found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching.